All right, in this problem, we're looking at men's weights, and they say that it's normally distributed, so I drew a bell curve. They told us the mean was 189.8, so this x-axis here is going to hold the weights of men, and that's 189.8 in the center because that's where the mean is located. So I'm just going to put a little mean symbol underneath that so we know that's the mean. Now, it says there's a standard deviation of 24.9, so I've put that in the upper left-hand corner. And it asks, what is the weight that separates the heaviest 1% of men from the lighter 99% of men? Well, where would the heavy men be? If you're on the left here, you're below average weight, so that doesn't make you heavy. If you're on the right, you're above average in weight, so the heaviest 1% must be on the right-hand side. So I'm going to put a little line here on the curve, right here. That represents the heaviest 1% of the group. Now if that's the 1% there, then the remaining area for this half has to be 49%, because 1 and 49 make 50, and that's the whole half of the curve. So we'll have 4,900 as a decimal. Now remember, it's this area that's associated with this z-score. So I can't look up the 1%, I have to look up the 4,900 on my z-table. So let's go to our z-table and figure that out. Okay, so here we are in the z-table. Let's look in the body of the table here for 4,900, the closest thing to it. So I scroll down, scroll down, and then I see in this row, right, or this row here, pardon me, we go from 48, and the one after it is to 49, so maybe 4,900 is over in this row somewhere. Well, it's real close to this number. It's close to this number as well, but this one's a little bit closer. So it looks like it's going to be 2.30123, so 2.33. All right, so that z-score is 2.33. It should be positive because it's on the right, so I'll leave it as a positive number. And then to finish this problem, we simply take that number and enter it into the formula. The formula for the x value that we need is z sigma plus the mean. So in this case, it's going to be 2.33 times 24.9 plus the mean of 189.8. All right, and work that out, and you'll have your final solution. So Let's put that in our calculator. Okay, so we'll have 2.33 times 24.9 plus 189.8. And we end up with 247.82 pounds.